Today, we're crossing the Hudson and leaving the Big Apple for Jersey City. Destination, Little India, which has one of the highest concentrations of Indians in the Western Hemisphere. We'll be guided by a local Indian American who's going to show us where to eat, where to drink, and where to shop. It's time to put Little India on your radar. All right, today we're bringing some love to Jersey where I grew up. We're in Jersey City, just 20 minutes by PATH train from Manhattan. And this area, Little India, gets no attention on YouTube. So today I decided I'm gonna bring it to you and I've got a guest who knows this area super well. Hope you're hungry. Hey guys, I'm Gawan. I wanna show you this area. Just basically the best of the best around this area and I hope you like it. All right, so first stop today, Rasoy, and this is a really famous Indian restaurant if you're from the Jersey City area, right? Yeah, it's one of the oldest and one of the most popular North Indian restaurants in uh, Little India. I just have to say 171 menu items. I'm glad I brought a local here because I don't know what I would have picked otherwise. What do you think makes this Little India here special compared to the other Little Indias around the New York area? Uh, because this is the only one block within, uh, you can say, 250 feet. We have 50 shops, Indian shops. It's 20 restaurants, jewelry stores, and clothing stores. That's why they call Little India. You can see in this block how many people are traveling every day. A lot of people are coming. So this is a chaat, it's mainly from northern India, particularly in the Gangetic Plain, so you, it's also popular in eastern India as well, particularly in the state of uh, Bengal and Assam. Um, that is samosa, that's popular all throughout India, the north, the south, the east, the west. Um, it is basically one of the primary snacks in the Indian subcontinent. Samosa, one of my all-time favorites, dipping this in the tamarind chutney sauce. Let's go in for the win here. Mm. I have to say if a business has been here for 23 years in an area that gets mostly Indian locals to come, if you know they're doing something right to stay in business this long, excellent samosa, absolutely excellent tamarind chutney, a little bit spicy, but I mean, Indian food is one of my all-time favorite foods to get, and I'm happy to be introduced to a new restaurant in Jersey City. Well, these are freshly made. These are not... Um basically pre-made like you have in a lot of the smaller Indian uh, joints. I can, I can taste the difference for sure. I can yeah. completely taste the difference. This is chicken lollipop. It's one of the most famous uh, pan-Indian dishes, but it's mainly popular and uh, originated in the south of India. Oh man, it's one of the best chicken lollipops I've ever had. Very good. Still trying to figure this thing out, but you know, we're getting somewhere. I think one of the issues is that you have Curry Hill in Manhattan, you've got Jackson Heights, huge area with a lot of Indian restaurants. Why does the Jersey City Little India fall under the radar so much? Like many things in New Jersey, we have populations who are centered in a certain area. And unlike the transportation system that you have in New York, we don't have that here. Uh, it's very car driven, so people come that the places that they know um, so and unfortunately nobody has advertised this area there's not many even youtubers who came here for example so that might be one of the reasons so many different colors different smells uh, i can i can already tell this is going to be a really good meal butter chicken going for some classics Let's see how this tastes Mm-hmm, so moist. This is by far better than anything I've ever had in New York City for Indian food, fact. So this is one of my favorite dish. It's uh, lamb densik. It's actually from the Western uh, Indian region of Maharashtra and mainly popular in Mumbai. So this is a dish that was produced by the Parsi community. They are a very small community. Uh, Freddie Mercury is one of their biggest uh, celebrity that came out from that community. Great. Man, a few words. It's good, it's good. I respect This is good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is good. 
You have all the alcohol in your All the alcohol in front of me too. This isn't all alcohol, only like half of it. You guys must think I have a problem. This is really smooth and um, this is gonna be good for digesting. This <laughs> all the, all this meal. food here. <laughs> Cheers, man. We have a ridiculous amount of leftovers. Uh, yeah, come with a big appetite to Rasoy. Absolutely incredible Indian food. Now we're gonna get something to help us digest. Stop number two, Ganesh Dosa House. Dewan, you said something very interesting to me about what I could get for a dollar here. They have some of the best chai in all of East Coast, in my opinion. Also, their coffee, best $2 you'll ever spend. Their tea, best buck fifty you'll ever spend. So sounds must. like a plan to me. Let's do this. And unfortunately, we just have no appetite left. So I think coffee, chai is perfect for like this moment right now because we're freaking full. Yeah. We are so full. And we're having something called Madras coffee. So it's only found in south of India, and where coffee is grown. And this coffee is very different from what you have in most of Europe or America. And I'll be honest, like I wouldn't think of India and coffee. I just don't put those two together, but I'm, I'm learning new things on this video. This is why I love making these videos, guys, because I love learning stuff like this. Actually, uh, South India is one of the largest coffee growers in the world. But again, India is such a huge country. It's the seventh largest country in the world. So people don't associate with it because tea, you, it's stretched from northeast to north to the south. So. Um, coffee, on the other hand, it's mainly grown in the south, but it's now getting popular all throughout India. And Madras coffee is my favorite coffee. So if you ever want to have Indian co style coffee, try South Indian filtered coffee or Madras coffee. Guys, clearly I was a fan of this. I don't usually drink tea and coffee at the same time. It feels a little strange for me, but yes, big fan. Definitely visit for at least one or, or maybe both of these. This is prasad. During Indian celebrations, they usually provide this. Okay. So one shot. One shot. Just all right. take it all. I've never tried this before. It's really sweet. What are the little pebbles? It's different things. So there's sugar. The little white cubes. Oh, uh, these are also condensed sugar. You know, like um, white sugar. Mm-hmm. These are white sugar condensed. Something interesting that you brought up to me was how this little India, while not really big, it's only one or two blocks, there's many different regions of India that are represented here. Yeah, absolutely. You will find Kolkata style food here, Mumbai style food here. So you got east, you got west, you got south like uh, Ganesh, and you got north like Rasoy. So it's, it's extremely diverse. So this area packs a heck of a punch for a relatively small little India, I would say. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they even have like a Chittanand uh, style specialty, which is from the deep south. So you're not going to get this place even in most other large metro er uh, cities. All right, so we're just going to keep on eating Bengali sweets. What do we got here? So this restaurant originally it was o owned by group of people from Calcutta, which is in eastern India. Now they have new ownership, I believe, but uh, it's still very good. This one is saffron? Yeah. We'll have one of this. I don't recognize most of this candy, which is why I'm even more excited to try this stuff, because I always like trying new things wherever I go. This, this looks interesting. It doesn't quite salad. look like the candy that I'm used to. Give to other person, whenever we meet somebody, we offer the papra and jalebi to them. And this is like made freshly here, and this sells a lot. So whatever you see here, it's all made freshly just for this festival. I think I've had this once before. Damn, you had the whole thing. <laughs> Was I not supposed to do that? No. no Nobody not. does that. <laughs> I'm inventing the rules here. <laughs> That's a big thing. You're, you're impressed? Ah, I, like, I'm surprised your tooth didn't ache when you... Oh, it's good, what can I say? You know, I'll just break a little bit. It, like most Indian sweets, it's shareable. And you want to break, you know, whatever size you want. And... How about it? 
We're at the Apka Bazaar, which is an Indian grocery store. Uh, I've walked by here before. I've actually never been inside. What, what to expect here? This has mainly uh, Indian groceries, so from frozen to non-frozen. Especially there, I always go to get the Indian ice cream, kulfi. So, you guys gotta try one. So much rice here. I think a lot of the Indian restaurants in the area must come here to stock up. Just a no, theory. No, no. Just this, a theory. Is, this is not Indian restaurant. This isn't for Indian restaurants. This is for us. This is just for Indian Dude, people. He's Filipino. He knows. <laughs> we eat rice for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, rice, everything. When you come here, this is Indian style ice cream called kulfi. You gotta get the saffron ice cream, kulfi, and you wanna get the Alfonso mango kulfi. Both are great flavors, but I recommend you try the saffron. This is my favorite room. It's a secret bakery. It is a great place. Every Indian, this is the Oreo of India. Parliji. Everybody loves it. Every kid, doesn't matter if they're of Indian origin, UK, US, Dubai, Australia, doesn't matter. All right guys, come with an empty stomach and an open mind. Little India in Jersey City, just 20 minutes by path train from Manhattan. What are you waiting for? Check out a really cool area that honestly just does not get enough exposure. Special thanks to Dewan for being an amazing guide and amazing Ben, of course, our camera guy.